So the last rule we're going to go over here is the sum and difference rule. And what this states is if we need to take the derivative of a combined function, let's say f of x plus another function g of x, the sum and difference rule says that this is just equal to the derivative of our first function, f of x, plus the derivative of our second function, g of x. So let's do a quick example. Let's say that we are asked to take the derivative of the function 6x raised to the third minus 3x plus 4. The sum and difference rule says that this is going to be equal to the derivative of this guy. So that would be 6 times 3x raised to the second power minus, so I'll put the minus here, the derivative of this guy, which would be 3 times 1 times x to the 0, plus, so I'll go ahead and put a plus sign, the derivative of this guy. And the derivative of any constant is going to be 0, so we would just put 0 here. And so if I go ahead and simplify this, this is going to be equal to 18x squared minus 3. And that would be our answer. Let's do something a little bit more complex. I'll scroll down here for a second. Let's say that we're given a function f of x, and f of x is going to be equal to negative 3x to the 7 plus 2 over the square root of x minus 3,141. The sum and difference rule says that the derivative of this function, f prime, is going to be equal to the derivative of this guy, which is negative 3 times 7 times x raised to the 7 minus 1 power, which would be 6, plus the derivative of this guy, which we can rewrite as 2 times x to the negative 1 half. And so if I take the derivative of that, take derivative, that's going to give me 2 times negative 1 half x raised to the negative 3 halves plus the derivative of this guy, which is 0 because the derivative of any constant is 0. So we can say plus 0. I can go ahead and simplify this. This is equal to negative 21 x to the 6th. This term simplifies to negative 1, so we would say minus 1 times x to the negative 3 over 2. And now I simplify this further f prime of x is equal to negative 21 x to the 6 minus x raised to the negative 3 over 2, and that would be my answer. And that's basically the sum and difference rule. If you have a function that is equal to something plus another something plus another something plus another something, the sum and difference rule says that f prime is going to be equal to the derivative of this thing plus the derivative of this thing plus the derivative of this thing plus the derivative of this thing.